Hi there, in this lesson we're going to look at how to solve quadratic equations using a graphical method. Now, there's actually two methods, the second of which is much more efficient, but we'll look at this one first. So in order to think about equations in general, if we look back at equations we've solved in the past, we used to use this method called balancing. So whatever we did to one side, we would do to the other side. If you just quickly look at these equations here, we can see that happening. Like this one, first one, you would add 3 to both sides, then divide by 4. You would multiply the brackets out, then you would add 6 to both sides, and then divide by 3, and so on. Now, a quadratic equation is slightly different because it's got an x squared in it. Another thing you'll notice about these three quadratic equations is everything's on one side and there's a 0 on the other side. This is a really important uh, method to solve quadratic equations. If you look at a quadratic equation that doesn't have the zero on this side, it's much harder to solve. And generally speaking, we have to use trial and error or guesswork. Like guess maybe five. Five times five makes twenty-five. Take away two times five is ten. That's not working. We could try six. Six times six is thirty-six. Take away two times six. Thirty-six. Take away twelve. Yes, that works. And that's a kind of cumbersome method. So I'm going to show you how to solve them when this zero is in the right hand side. Okay, so let's look at our first graphical method to solving quadratic equations, which links quite nicely because you've just been drawing quadratic equations in the last exercise. So for us to solve this quadratic equation here, x squared minus 4x equals 0, firstly we would ask you to draw it. I've drawn it already here. Now we just draw it the same way as you did in the last exercise, like take different values of x and, and then pop out a y or an f of x value and then sketch it. But if you look at this equation up here, you can see that we've got x squared minus 4x equals 0. The actual equation of the quadratic would be y equals x squared minus 4x because of the x axis and the y axis, so that would be the proper equation of it. What we're really doing is we're replacing the y with a 0 here. So we're trying to see what happens what x values make the y value 0, i.e. where does the graph cut the x-axis, because that's it cuts the x-axis when the y value is equal to 0. We, we talked about that in the straight line topic. And you can see here that it cuts the x-axis at two points, 0 and 4. And that's actually the solution to the equations. Equation solutions are where the graphs cut the x-axis, 0. And 4, and you can test it out. We could try 0 in the equation, 0 squared, take away 4 times 0, well that's 0, and then you could try the 4 as well. So 4 squared is 16, take away 4 times 4, that works out too. So to solve the equation graphically, we just take the values where the graph cuts the x axis. Let's look at some more examples. So we can use a graphical method to solve quadratic equations. So I've got four examples here to look at quickly. So this first graph here, the equation would be this. It would really be y equals x squared plus x minus 2. But we're replacing the y with a 0. We're trying to really find out where the graph cuts the x-axis because that's when the y value is equal to 0. And you can see from the graph, it's negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 and 1. And you can try these and, and test them out, see if they work. If you try the 1, for example, 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2, take away 2 equals 0. If you're doing the negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, and add negative 2, you're at 2, and then take away 2, you get 0. So that's, these two values here work to solve this equation. Okay, next one. Here's the graph already drawn of x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. So the two solutions, just by looking at the graph, are 1 and 4. That's all you have to do, right? 1 and 4. Okay, two more examples. So at this time, the graph is upside down, if you like, or a maximum turning point. It's going up to a maximum and coming back down the other side. That's because there's a negative x squared here. The same rules apply. Where does the graph cut the x-axis? Well, you can see here it's at minus 3 and 2. So the solutions to the equation are minus 3 and 2. And finally, this last graph, um, same again. Where does it cut the x-axis? Well, it cuts it minus 2 
and 2. So your solutions are minus 2 and 2. Now this method is fine if you have the graph in front of you and in exercise in the book you will have the graphs in front of you but it does become cumbersome if you have to draw the graphs every time. So there is a better way of doing it, just using algebra and I'll show you that in the next lesson.